In this video, we're returning to a classic GeoGuessr mode where I'm going to be going for country streaks without moving on a diverse world to see what I can get that streak up to. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the GeoGoose YouTube channel, where, like I said, today we're returning to, uh, to a classic, something that a lot of people have played, trying to get country streaks on a diverse world without moving. Very, very popular. Lots of leaderboards for it with crazy high records. Love records I'm not going to touch today. But what I will say is I'm going for a 10 country streak without moving today. I think it's possible. I I want to see if I've improved since I've started this Road to Pro series, and uh, yeah, I guess without further ado, let's uh, let's get into this. We're not going to play a challenge link today. Just kind of look at the rounds with me, see how many you can get in your head in a row. There's no real need to do a play along because we're just going for countries, not scores. But before I click start game, reminder to quickly like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Look, we're working towards 100 subscribers. I know that's kind of a tiny number for a lot of you, but I think 100 is the gateway, right? 100 to 1,000. That's not a huge jump, right? Once people start watching the videos, if you guys really appreciate it, like every single one, I know we can get there. So almost at 100 subs, help me out with that. Hit that button right now. Let's go into this uh, single player, diverse world, no moving country streak. I'm really excited, guys, because going for country streaks is one of my favorite things in GeoGuessr. I've... I've been good at it in the past. I, I've personally got 20, 25, 30 country streaks before. However, that was a while ago. That was like six months or more ago, and I'm quite out of practice. So uh, we're going to go in here again. I mean, right away, this looks very interesting to me. And I think I might get it wrong right off the bat. This kind of tree here, it says sold. That looks to be English, but what where am i like i looked at the landscape and for some reason i thought like oh brazil or something whoa i am so confused i mean no this is probably just australia right like definitely just australia maybe like tasmania i mean i guess it could be new zealand too but it feels we're seeing some english we look to be driving on the left with this antenna location these kind of trees feel very warm so i'm just gonna go for australia i don't know where in australia i mean Maybe somewhere up here in Queensland. I'm not very good at region guessing Australia, but we're just going to go for it. I mean, I think the country's right. Okay, it was just south of Adelaide. That was a very interesting landscape, but uh, all that matters is that we got the country right. Off to a good start. If we got that country wrong right off the bat, I would have been a bit upset. Uh, but let's move on to the next one here. Ooh, wait. Wait, what? What is going on here? Wait, what? Hold on. Something's up. So... Is this a one-way? I'm really confused. What am I looking at? Because this says this says wrong way, but then when I turn around, this looks like it's designed for right-hand exit. These cars are definitely driving on the right, but then this road here has lines pointing forward on the left with the bollards facing the opposite direction? Am I missing something big here? I'm really, really confused at this round right now. I'm going to assume that this is a one-way road off of like a highway because I think people are coming off of here and I think this is probably a one-way. Looking at the license plate, that looks to be some red text on the license plate, which is usually found in Belgium. However, I don't think these ballers are found in Belgium very much. So I'm, uh, I'm really, really, really confused. I think these bollards are found in, like, Germany and Luxembourg. Mostly, like, Germany, maybe Switzerland, but this is not Switzerland. We don't have low camera, I don't think. No, definitely not low camera. Red text would make sense if we were in, like, southwestern Germany or something. It definitely has a European vibe, but it feels very warm with these trees. So, uh, I mean, these bollards, like I said, I'm, I think, <laughs> Finland maybe too, actually. I guess they're popular in, in Finland, and could it be Finland? Is it, does it look cold enough to be Finland? No, I don't, I don't think these are Finnish. I think these are maybe German bollards. So I'm going to go crazy. Germany's not a country you get very often in diverse world, but I'm going to guess somewhere near Belgium, like somewhere near Cologne or Aachen. Aachen? I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but... Uh, okay, well, this, straight up, full transparency. I was going to say the streak might end here, but we were just near Frankfurt. So I'm glad my deductive reasoning skills worked there. That was definitely a traveling Belgian plate. Um, with that Gen 2 coverage, those bollards, 
something felt off. It didn't feel like any European country I was familiar with, um, except for Germany. And it's a country that really doesn't have a ton of official Google coverage. So I'm glad I was, I was able to use my confusion to my advantage, calm down, look at all the clues presented and make my best possible guess. That was an interesting round. I'm glad I managed to guess Germany correct on that as we're on a two streak to open up this video. Uh, speaking of open, this gas station here is definitely open. Let's have a look around. Maybe look for some language. Engen. Uh, uh, Garden House. So that's Dutch. This is South Africa. And the question is, is it South Africa or is it something like Eswatini or Lesotho? Hmm. That's the real question here. Okay. So are there any hints? Like... The lines painted into the road here make me think it's South Africa, but this like old sign, what does that say? Philippolis. Philippolis, maybe that's like a city? These poles, oh no, these poles feel almost like Eswatini. But it, it looks too hilly, like it could also be Lesotho. But these I think are South African. Oh, I'm, I'm stressing myself out, okay. Let's just think. Let's see if we can find Philippolis or Philippolis, whatever, somewhere over here. Um, maybe we can get lucky and find it and figure out exactly where we are. Uh, I'm going to have a quick look through. These are more like traditional African names. But here we go. So Berg, Perdekop. Because like, I don't know. I guess Lesotho does have uh, like Dutch sounding names. Yeah, okay. So I don't think it's Lesotho. I am curious about Eswatini, though. Let me just see if I can find... Because I feel like it would show up at this zoom level. At least I hope it would. But again, these don't really seem like traditional Dutch names. So, <laughs> Amsterdam. Okay. Yeah, I'm from Amsterdam. Uh, let's have a look here. E Manzana. Manzana is just Spanish for apple, right? Alright, so this is really interesting. Uh, I feel like it's just South Africa. And I don't really want to spend a, a ton more time. But this is a little stressful because... The infrastructure made me think of, like, Eswatini for a bit. We get some, like, palm trees. Maybe we're, like, actually somewhere near, like, a coast. Somewhere, like, down here. Uh, I don't think we're going to find the town that we saw the name of. But uh, we're actually going to guess maybe somewhere down here in Africa. And just pray for the best. Yeah, it was just... Oh, there it is. Philippo Philippolis? Philippolis? Not really sure, but it's in the middle of nowhere. I, that's... Don't think I would have found that perfectly, but uh, I'm just glad we got the country right, and it wasn't Lesotho or Eswatini, because I panicked for a bit. I was like, nah, I think it's just South Africa, but I kept second guessing, and I need to stop that. I need to just go with my gut right off the bat. Seems to pay off. So we're three for three. As we zoom in and we see a baller that's found in a few countries, we're going to use some uh, some other context clues to try and help us out here. This plate doesn't seem to have a blue strip on it. Okay. Let's take a look. What does this say? Digimont Mineral... Okay. Hmm. All right. So based on the hints that we have, this is found in Slovenia, similar ones in Austria, but also North Macedonia, and I think Montenegro. So it's actually a bit tough for me. The fact that I don't see blue strips, but like Alto Brangi, like a lot of these countries like Montenegro, North Macedonia use Cyrillic writing. While obviously Slovenia and Austria do not. But the fact that there's no blue strips. Does Croatia use the same things? I don't think so. Croatia definitely doesn't have blue strips. That's English. Like, the architecture could very well be Croatian. I'm, I'm a little worried. Because I don't think Croatian bollards look like this. I think, I think these are just Slovenian. So maybe we're like... South Slovenia, somewhere near Croatia. Um, but I don't really know. This this is tough. This is really tough, guys. I, I mean, I'm almost certain we're not in Austria. Um, but, I mean, I guess it's possible that we're in, like, Montenegro or North Macedonia as well. But with this language, I don't think so. I think this is... I think Croatia is my best shout. But... Or Slovenia near Croatia. But I just don't know. Um, with, that, with the lack of blue strips, it's really, really unnerving. And I'm I'm not really sure. Oh, guys. I think the streak might end here after just three. Even if it does, we'll start a new streak on the on the next round. But no, I'm going to go Slovenia somewhere near Croatia and just pray that I'm right. Because the bollards don't lie. 
They... Oh! I completely discounted Serbia. I didn't know Serbia used those bollards. Well, that's a lesson learned for me. It makes so much sense. Um, no blue strips on the plate. There was probably no antenna either. So, uh, yeah, that's a misplay on my part. I, uh, I just discounted Serbia. It didn't really look like Slovenia, especially with the lack of blue strips, but... I trusted the bollards, and when I don't know the head of country has those bollards, ha, huh, it's unfortunate, but hey, all we can do is start the streak anew, right? We're going for 10, we're going to play a few rounds, see if we can get close to it, but uh, this one is... Oh, I thought it was easy, but uh, now I'm not so sure. When you see a follow car like this, my gut was Nigeria. Uh, these people, yeah, okay, I think this is just Nigeria. And we got English, right? Inspirational Kitchens. NG. It is Nigeria. This blur around the car is not something I'm used to, though. Um, but yeah, we're just in Nigeria. We saw the follow car with a bit of green tinge on the license plates. Um, the, the people look very African. So uh, yeah, we're safe to just go in Nigeria here. Where in Nigeria? Not really sure. Seems pretty green. I'm going to guess somewhere up closer to Abuja. Actually, maybe even in Abuja. And uh, just see. Okay, it was just Lagos. I don't think I'm ever guessing Lagos there. It looked really, really green. And Lagos is typically a bit dry. But uh, regardless, we, start, we end this seed on a one country streak. Unfortunately, guessing Slovenia on Serbia. That's a tough one. This whole region of Europe is really difficult for me. But uh, I'm definitely keeping in mind that Serbia has those bollards now. So let's play again. Let's go into the next round. We got a one country streak. We got Nigeria, correct. And uh, yeah, let's see how we do as we move on to the next one. And uh, okay, immediately... I mean, this can be nowhere else but northern Russia, right? There's, like, no trees. This yellow diamond sign, I'm almost certain I've seen in Russia before. Is this Cyrillic? Yeah, uh, what, uh, ch, ch... Is that ch or tsa? I can't remember. Either way, like, uh, Chetravnai? Something like that. But, uh, look at this. I mean, I don't know many places in the world with this kind of architecture, this kind of cold climate... I mean, is this ever up near Murmansk or something? It could be. I mean, this could also be Eastern Russia, like Far East over here. Like, what does the soil look like? Could it be volcanic? I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. I, it's just somewhere in Northern, Northern Russia. I'm just going to guess near Murmansk because I know, uh, I know there's some coverage up here and, uh, it's probably not there. It's actually kind of a bad guess if I'm hedging for points, but the good thing is I'm not, I'm just going for the country and, uh, I'm, whoa, that was way more South than I thought, but, uh, oh, my streak is working. This wasn't working in the last seed, so uh, it got the streak. So my country streak is actually two, but uh, but yeah. So it was near Novosibirsk in Toguchin. Gosh, that place looks so sad. I mean, all right, well, it was a lot further south than I was expecting, but I guess in the middle of nowhere in Siberia, that's what you get. Now, I'm wondering if there's a possible way to... Uh... Yeah, there we go, there we go. I got the streak at two. I, I forgot how to do it, but uh, we got it up there now. So streak's at two as we move on to this round now. Very clear white Google car with this kind of landscape. I mean, the sun is obviously in the south. Feels very European, almost Italian, but this kind of white Google car. I'm really not familiar with this uh, with this car. Maybe it should be something that I know. Let's zoom into Europe because I'm almost sure this is Europe and try and see if I can jog my memory on which country might have a white Google car like this. I don't really know. I, I mean, this feels like... Oh, this is so weird. Like, Spain or Italy is, is really what's just coming to mind here. Um, this this kind of just, like, fields, dry fields. Uh, this kind of tree here feels pretty northern. It's like something I'd see here in Canada. But uh, I don't think we're going to waste any time. I think we're just going to go Italy. I mean, it could be Spain, but uh, maybe even, like, France in the right part of France. It could be a lot of countries. This kind of round is very difficult for me. Like, I don't know. Like, there's a white sticker here. I don't know if that means anything. This style of pole... I'm sure some of you know exactly where it is. It kind of reminds me a bit of a French pole, actually. But that doesn't feel exactly right. Uh, so I'm actually going to try and keep this pole in mind as I make my guess in Italy, as we're probably wrong. It was just France, so it was it was a French-style pole. Didn't know that. Didn't know that. So uh, that style of pole is found in central France. Going to try and remember that as we start our streak anew at zero. Guys, this is not going as well as I thought it would go. But uh, hey, we keep rolling. We keep rolling. We're trying to improve, right? So let's take a look here. Gestoria Simon Accessorios y Reparación Técnica. That is definitely Spanish, right? I don't think this is Portuguese at all. And if we look at this sign here, thick red border with like basically no uh, no white outline. I think this is probably just uh, 
Probably just Spain. Uh, I don't know if I can get like a... Oh. Wait, what am I saying? What am I saying? That's a Santander. I know Santander is a region in Colombia. No, this is not... Oh, hold on now. Wait a second. No. No. Right? No, this is Europe. This 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 is this has to be Europe. But a yellow license plate? Oh whoa, wait. <laughs> okay, now I'm confused. Because this sign made me think Spain immediately. And the road lines made me think Europe, but I'm seeing some yellow license plates. Nah, nah. I'm not gonna second guess myself. I think this is just Spain. I don't know where in Spain, but I see Spanish, I'm guessing Spain. It's Spain, it's northern Spain. Uh Let's take a look at that. No, I didn't want to take a look at that. I wanted to zoom in on the town. Ponferrada. Okay. That was a bit of bait. There is a bit of weird stuff going on in that. A ton of blurring. Super dark. Um, well, anyway, we got it. We started at one gun two streak again. Wow, that took a lot out of me. And as we move on to what is almost certainly Canada, probably British Columbia. Uh, in fact, I'm as someone who plays a lot of the Canada map, I can tell you right now that this is British Columbia. These concrete outer outer uh, guards on the road. British Columbia doesn't use guardrails. They only use these kind of concrete blocks. So this could be anywhere in British Columbia. I'm going to guess somewhere here in the mountains near Kamloops and just pray that we're right. Okay, it was a bit further south, uh, very close to the U.S., but I knew that was British Columbia. Um, very, very British Columbian and Canadian looking landscape there. So uh, we'll move on to the next one. We got a streak of two. Of course, didn't need to get the province correct uh, as long as we got Canada, but uh, we like to get those provinces correct if we can. Now, ah... These ballers are very interesting. Uh, oh no. Okay, let me take a look at this. Dan Danning Road. English. So I think this is Australia, right? It has to be. We got we got lots of English. I mean, it looks like South African stuff. But these ballards, I think, are found in Australia. The white with the little red on it, right? I mean, I don't think this is found in South Africa. I feel like this is just Australia. Is this Northern Australia? Is this like Darwin? Oh boy, I'm going to get embarrassed by some people who know Australia a lot better than me, but I, I'm almost sure this is not South Africa. Just because of the bollards, right? Like, these bollards feel Australian to me. White with red. I know usually the red's rectangular. Gosh, these plants, though, these trees look so South African. And I know South Africa has a lot of English. Oh no, this is one of those toss-ups. It's one of the two, and I'm going to screw up which one it is, aren't I? But no, I'm going Darwin. We're going Australia. It wasn't Darwin. I, I Clearly, I don't know my Darwin coverage. It was just near Perth. It was in uh, WA. Red soil, I guess you can find it there. But hey, we're on a three-country streak. We got that it was Australia. I was a bit scared, but that's what matters to me. We got the country streak, and we're going to play again. So we're at three. Um, we're going to play maybe one or two more seeds. We're just going to see how we do when we get there. But uh, yeah, let me uh, fix up some music here. And uh, off we go. Uh, Calle Huerta, Plaza de Solar, that sounds very Spanish to me. Does the architecture make sense for Spain? Yes. Yes, I think so. Um, yeah, I, I mean, this this very well could be Spain, right? I think Calle is, uh, is Spanish. Plaza del Solar, that sounds Spanish to me as opposed to something like Portuguese, though the architecture could very well be Portuguese as well. Um... Barmari Paz. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, this doesn't look like a Portuguese license plate. It looks Spanish, so I'm just going to go with Spain. It's the first gut reaction, and, uh, and I've, I've learned, if there's one thing I've learned throughout playing this game a lot, is that my gut reaction is often pretty good. It's not always 100%, but it always feels better to go with your gut and be wrong than to second-guess yourself and figure out your gut was the correct was the correct way to go. So we're going to guess Spain. It was Spain. It was north of Madrid. I'm glad I got that... Uh, got that vibe right small small town we're at my arauzo de torre so uh we're at a four country street guys we're trying to get to 10 please 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 can i get to 10 this is a good start here uh this car very very distinct um if you guys have been playing geoguessr for a long time uh this car is uh something you should all know this is architecture too um if you're not familiar we are in uganda this uh this car is only found in uganda and uganda does not have very much official google coverage they really only have it near kampala and entebbe um as for which one is uh is this round well we see a lot of hills to our northwest don't really know what entebbe looks like uh, I don't think we're in Entebbe. I think we're just on the outskirts of Kampala. So that's exactly what we're going to do somewhere over like here in Kampala uh, and just see if we're right. It, okay, it was in between the two. We were in uh, a place called Akrite City. 
cool. Didn't know that had coverage. I thought, I guess it's just a whole road from Kampala all the way down to Entebbe. So, uh, yeah, we're at five. Let's move on to the next one. Five is, uh, is pretty good. If we finish off this with a perfect score, we'll end up with eight, and then we can move on to try and get our 10 in the final seat of the video. And, uh, at this point, I think we're just going to stop whenever the streak stops. Um, but let's take a look at the language here. At the Colita Regalo, Cancelleria, Servizi Postali, yeah, everything feels Italian. The way I'm speaking, the way the language sounds, the double blue strips on the Fiat, everything points to Italy. Um, this is definitely Italy. Uh, I mean, is it possible it's ever San Marino? I really don't think so. It's not hilly, it's not anything. This is just straight up Italy. Comune di Nocera Terenese, don't know where that is. Um, let's take a look at the landscape, see if we can get a decent region guess. Uh... Yeah, I mean, obviously it feels Mediterranean, we're in Italy, but uh, maybe somewhere near the coast, maybe a little further south, maybe south of Rome, somewhere near Naples, Salerno, something like this. Um, yeah, well, actually, it was even more south. Uh, and yeah, so here's the here's the place we were in, right on the coast, makes a lot of sense, it felt pretty coastal, so happy with that. We got Italy, we're in a six country streak, we're moving on, uh, okay, we're trying to get to ten, and oh boy, this is tough. White car... Uh, bear with me as I take in my surroundings here. Okay. As I look around, I see a lot of American-made cars, especially this Dodge truck right here. And when I see that, this pole is round with some concrete barriers. Oh, no. Servicio Policio? Something like that. Publico. Servicio Publico. This is Spanish with what looks to be American-made cars. Mexico makes the most sense, right? I think Mexico makes the most sense. White car, I feel like that makes sense in Mexico. The white car you often find in Peru as well, which is... But I, I don't think this is Peru, right? Like, this feels like... A, like, if I was just looking this way... I mean, no, I wouldn't guess it's the U.S. at all, but... Uh, I think Mexico makes sense here. We're, we're, we definitely have Spanish... There's oh, definitely some clues I'm missing as to which country exactly we're in. Like, this feels almost Peruvian, but I don't think this is Peru. I think this is probably just Mexico. Um, so I guess all I can do is guess, right? Oh, no. Please keep the streak alive. I don't know where in Mexico this would be. We're just going to guess pretty central and pray. Close our eyes. Yep, it's Mexico. Wow, it was northern Mexico and Chihuahua. Okay, so... Uh, that looked very interesting to me. I haven't really seen much, much uh, Mexico covers that looks like that. But hey, we're on a seven-country streak. We got that right. We calmed down after the stress of the start and managed to land the country correctly. Now, on to the final round of this seed and what would make an eight-country streak with the electricity counter. That's interesting. This pole is interesting. All right. Is the sun in the north? Where's the sun? Where's the sun? Sun is there. Uh, e is it more in the north? It's basically straight overhead. It's almost impossible to tell, which kind of makes sense for my guess. When you see poles that are painted white at the bottom, there's a few countries that do that. But this style of pole with these cutouts here that don't go all the way to the top, I'm pretty sure that's most common in Brazil. And it looks like we have a coast to our northeast, which makes a lot of sense to me. We have this kind of like tile roof that's red. We got a lot of concrete around. Things seem to line up for Brazil. Um, and I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm just going to go into Brazil, find a place pretty close to the equator that has a northeast coast. Let's go here. Salinopolis. I don't know. Uh, maybe we're like here next to this port. Who knows? We're going to guess it and pray it's Brazil. It was Brazil. It was just south of Fortaleza. In, uh, what's this place called? Caponga. Caponga. We were in Caponga, Brazil. And, uh, oh, a lot of stress on that one because I'm like, I feel like I'm second guessing myself, right? Like, my gut immediately said just click in Brazil. But with the amount of times I've gotten pretty simple rounds wrong, I want to make sure on every single one that I'm getting it right. So, view summary again. We're on an eight country streak. Let's get to that 10. So, this is probably going to be the final seed no matter what. We're going to end out this final seed, whether we get to 10 or not. Um, but hey, if we get one wrong, we'll, we'll just end the video there. But if we get it right, we're going to keep going through all the 10, right? So let's keep going. I mean, immediately this feels like the USA to me. Um, this doesn't feel like anywhere in Canada with the yellow center road lines, white outer lines, make sure the sun's in the South. It very much is. Um, this really does not feel like Mexico. Let's see if that's some English. Can't tell, but 
I mean, no, like that house there, very, very American to me. I, I think this is just the US. 35, yeah, definitely miles per hour. Um, dry, feels like a British Columbia landscape. So probably somewhere here in the Pacific Northwest, maybe Washington or Oregon. Uh, maybe like Montana, something like that. So I'm just going to guess Northwestern U.S. I'm pretty confident in the country. It is Montana and your big timber. What a cool name for a town. So uh, we got the region right too in the U.S. So we're at a streak of nine. And here is the round. Oh, and it's not an easy one. Okay. What is this? Is that a helicopter or a plane? Is that just a fly on the lens? I don't know. Boy, they didn't give me an easy one for this final round, did they? Or did they? Well, I mean, the classic GeoGuessr trope is if you see a lot of cacti, just guess Mexico. But something that's helping, too, is this this pole. If you guys weren't aware, octagonal poles are found in Mexico. I think this might even be hexagonal. But uh, still, a lot of the concrete poles in Mexico are uh, like six or eight sided, uh, usually octagonal. And that seems to be an octagonal pole to me, including this one over here. It seems octagonal. We have a lot, a lot, a lot of cacti everywhere. Is the sun in the south? If the sun's in the south, that pretty much confirms it. The sun is basically straight to the east, so we can't tell. But what do we do? We, we just got to go. We got to go in Mexico. Octagonal pole with lots of cacti. We're going to guess somewhere in northern Mexico and pray. Oh, we got the 10. <laughs> we got the 10. I'm so happy we got the 10 here. San Luis Potosi. Um, amazing, amazing. We got the 10. So let's just keep rolling. We hit 10. Now we're just going to roll. We're going to go a little bit faster. Just go with the gut. What does this say here? Turistichko. Whoa, that's not a character I expected to see in this round feels really dry but the, whoa all right uh i'm already confused i have no idea the, the fact that i see this character uh jahan what in the world is this okay what countries have that c i think czechia has it i'm pretty sure czechia has it let's just zoom in and see if we can find a town that has that on the c this little arrow on the c we see it on the z here on the s on the r on the S a lot. Ah, here we go. Yes, we definitely see it in Czech. Um, let's see if we can see it in, uh, in Slovak. Because if, if we can't find it... Ah, no, we do see it in Slovak as well. Are there any other languages that does that? Like Romania? Because this didn't really feel like Czech or Slovakia to me. Let's see if Romania does it. Because if they do, that might actually be a bit of a better guess. Uh... Yeah, doesn't seem like it does it yeah so like i'm pretty good with languages in general so romania does use that little upside down arrow i should say but uh doesn't seem like they like to do it on their c's which is uh a bit unnerving because i didn't think that this felt at all like czechia or slovakia when i first looked at it um yeah i don't think it's romanian the, the language just doesn't look like it either the C with a KO. Um, all we can do now is kind of look at the language and see if we can see similar endings with the C and the KO. Uh, let's look for some KO endings here. And um, if we can find... So this one is C-N-O. Raz Tochno, I guess. Uh, yeah, a lot of it in Slovakian. Uh, C-K-O. Seems like I'm always into Slovakia, Czechia, toss-up, doesn't it? Uh, this one has a word starting with a J as well. So... Right now, I'm feeling Slovakia, but, like, I'm also wondering, is this, like, could this ever be Croatian? Well, I'll check that, too. Oh, guys, this is one of the tougher rounds in the video. Right after we get to 10, yeah, Croatian uses it, uh, uses it too. And, actually, I think Croatia makes a lot more sense when you look at uh, the building style, the dryness of the climate. Like, it almost felt like Italy to me when I first looked at it, which makes a lot of sense for Croatia. Um, I don't think that, oh, but they also do it in Slovenian. Oh, so, okay, now I'm down between Croatia and Slovenia. It feels like it should be one of the two. Ah, but we got a KO here at the end of one of these there, Wurbovsko. Mmm, so maybe it's more common in Croatian. Ah, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. Okay, so I'm not going to spend too much more time on this. I feel like Croatia is a much better guess. I feel like it's dry. I feel like it felt more like Italy than anything else. Um, but with this language, feels like Italy with a white building, this kind of tile roof. We're just going to go for Croatia, and uh, we got to just go for it. Streak ends, streak ends. It was Albania. No, it was Montenegro. It was Montenegro. Guys, I don't think I'm ever, ever getting that. I didn't know Montenegro had that character. Wow. 
All right. Well, that's uh, that's it for the streak. I guess Croatia on Montenegro. I don't think that's a terrible guess because, uh, of course, they border each other way down here. But uh, we were on the Montenegro and Albanian border. Such a tough round. I don't think I'm ever getting that. Let me know if you guys knew that right off the bat. But, uh, hey, you know what? I can't be upset. We got to the 10th street. We got two more rounds left in this video. Let's just top it off. Um, this one here, I feel like it's probably Indonesia or Malaysia. Uh, if I look at this post, do I see any stickers? No, but I don't know. This feels... What does this feel like? Indonesia or Malaysia? Let's take a look. Do you have a helmet on? You have a helmet on. Let's just go Indonesia. The classic rainbow meta, right? Could be either. Uh, yeah, <laughs> worked again. We're in Indonesia. Country streak of one. And let's finish off this uh, this video. And this looks pretty easy. This is a pretty easy Greece. It's definitely Greek. I don't know. I or yeah, yeah. I don't know how to read Greek. I kind of do, but uh, not great. This is clearly Greek language. Feels like we're in a pretty big city. We're just going to go Athens to top off this video. And uh, we should be right. If not Athens, maybe somewhere on an island. Ah, we're actually just over here in... Uh, what are we in? What was that called? Amalia? Amaliada. Amaliada in Greece. So, unfortunately, it ended right at 10. I was hoping we could go a bit further. My Croatia guess on what was Montenegro... Very, very difficult round, if you ask me. I don't think I'm ever getting Montenegro there, but let me know if you guys got it, because that was a tough one. But uh, regardless, if you enjoyed this longer, uh, longer GeoGoose episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. I love all the support you guys have been giving me, and help me get to 100 subscribers. I'm GeoGoose. We'll catch you in the next one.